This is WKYT This Morning. Kentucky mornings start right here on WKYT. Good morning to you. I'm Andrea Walker. And I'm Bill Bryant, and it is your Friday. We're glad you're with us. The weekend on the way, October 14th. Now at 6, a traffic alert in downtown Lexington. Details on how it could impact your morning commute. That's just ahead. Also, free speech, or is it a matter of public safety? The Kentucky Supreme Court is considering Lexington's ban on panhandling today. And pick out your best blue and white clothing this morning. We are counting down to big blue madness in Lexington. All right. Well, is this suitable? You are the only one that did the right thing this morning. I have no shirt on. Is I know. That, I have navy totally. blue and white. That's Micah, right. we're in trouble. We, uh, we this need is to experience go home. right here. That's <laughs> experience that's right. That yeah, right. you need to get your <laughs> right. colors on. Uh, but you can redeem yourself with yes, good weather, I, I right? I think so. I think so because we actually have really nice conditions. I know it's in Rupp Arena. I get it. But as you're heading into Rupp Arena, it'll be pretty nice. Uh, we do have the slightest chance of rain later on this evening. It's mainly for the southern half. Is that rain? Rain moves in on us from Arkansas and Missouri, but for the most part, that will fall apart. All right, so don't expect all that rain to move overhead. We're staying dry this morning. It looks pretty good. Maybe a little patchy fog here and there, but other than that, it's, uh, it's actually a pretty clear start. We're in the 40s and 50s outside, so it's a little chilly in some spots, especially central and northern Kentucky. 68 by the afternoon. You're talking about an awesome day. This is an awesome day later on today. We'll talk about your weekend forecast. It gets much warmer, but do we have that chance of rain? I'm going to show you that in just a few minutes. Okay, we'll see you in a bit. Let's get to the news. Here's a big question this morning. Do you have the right to beg for money on the streets of Lexington? That is a question that the Kentucky Supreme Court will be considering today. It's a really interesting case that centers around freedom of speech. Michelle Chamberlain is at our WKYT alert desk this morning to break down the arguments. Yeah, Dennis Champion was cited for panhandling two years ago. Today Today, he'll be in court. Champion claims the Lexington ordinance that bans soliciting and begging on public streets violates his constitutional right to freedom of speech. The city says it's a matter of public safety. Now, Champion's arrest citation said he had a sign asking for money as he stood at the intersection of New Circle Road and Georgetown Street. Champion claims he was just asking for money and was not in traffic or putting anyone in danger. Now, the Kentucky Sur Supreme Court will hear the case starting at 9 o'clock this morning, and it should be interesting, Bill. Okay, thank you very much. We have some good news this morning. It looks like work to repair a gas leak in downtown Lexington has just finished up. The work was taking place overnight on Main Street near Walton Avenue. One inbound lane and one outbound lane were blocked until just a few minutes ago. This is the same area where crews were dealing with a gas leak a few weeks ago. The good news here is again the road is no longer blocked. You should be able to get through uh, in that area of Walton Avenue now. New on WKYT this morning, a Lexington man is accused of kicking in someone's door and stabbing two people inside. James Anzaldua is charged with assault and burglary. Police say he forced his way into an apartment on Alexandria Drive yesterday and attacked the people inside. They say he caused serious injuries to one person. He will be arraigned later today. Police at Eastern Kentucky University are now warning students about a recent spike in bike thefts. In just the last week, EKU police say at least four bikes have been reported stolen around campus. Prior to this week, police say they've only had one bike reported stolen since the beginning of the semester. Police suggest students always lock bikes in a well-lit area. We have a list of tips on how to protect your bike right now on WKYT.com. A Franklin County business went up in flames last night. You're looking at Wilson's Automotive on Cardwell Lane in Frankfort. We just missed talking to the owner to see if the shop is going to be rebuilt. The family of a missing McGoffin County man is asking for your help in finding him. Police say 48-year-old Scott Standifer has not been seen since August 28th. And while he's from the Salyersville area, family members say he had been living in Perry County. They say Standifer's father died not long after he went missing. They're hoping something bad hasn't happened to him. I try not to worry. I try not to think bad thoughts. I just try to think positive. The family is putting up posters in Perry County hoping that someone has some information about Standifer. Employees at a Laurel County business hope surveillance video will help police track down a thief. Take a look at your screen. Helping Hands Chiropractic in London puts up this Halloween display each year. When some decorations were stolen on Monday, the business installed security cameras. Employees say those cameras caught a man stealing lights from the display Wednesday night. And if you've done it, come back here and just drop the stuff off. 
No questions asked. Just drop it back off. Don't don't steal. It's hard, disheartening. Employees say the thefts have cost them around $500. It's not a game. We're talking about a practice. And in Kentucky, it's a really big deal. <laughs> well, this is a huge deal. No <laughs> doubt about it. Tonight, the UK men's and women's basketball teams will show off their skills in front of a big crowd at Rupp Arena. And uh, there might even be a little dancing going on. It's mm -hmm. been known to happen from time to time. <laughs> Let's go to WKYT's Lauren Miner, who is live outside Rupp with a preview of the big day and night ahead. Good morning. Always lots of dancing. I feel like that's one of the best parts. And right now, I feel like it's the calm before the storm because later on this evening, fans are going to be pouring inside Rep Arena for Big Blue Madness. And this is something Kentucky Wildcat fans look forward to each and every year. Tonight is the night the men and women's basketball team will kick off the start of their season. Doors open at 5 30 and the event will begin at 7. Big Blue Madness will feature introductions of both teams along with practice drills, videos, and more. This year's event will feature an interactive light show where fans can participate just by using their smartphones. All you have to do is download an app and we have more information on how you can do that at WKYT.com. Fans will also get a look at the new renovations inside. Upgrades have been done to video, audio, technology, and even the seating area. And of course, Big Bertha is no more and has now been replaced by a new state-of-the-art system and there is actually a contest going on to name that new video board. So, and also be sure to catch a 90 minute preview of this year's Wildcats before the Madness on the CW at 5 30. This is the 12th time that Madness has been held here at Rep Arena, and I think it's safe to say a lot of fans are waking up excited and anxious to get inside tonight. Reporting live in Lexington, Lauren Miner, WKYT. All right, Lauren, it won't be long now. I know. You can feel the excitement in her voice. <laughs> you really can. And it's what, six uh, o'clock in the morning? Yeah, <laughs> there are a lot of fans out there who are eager to go, no sure. doubt about it. Well, something else has a lot of people excited. It is College Scholarship Day out of Keeneland. Anyone with a college ID can get into the track for free today. Even better, full time students can register to win a $1,000 scholarship. Now, like always, the first 2,000 students. To register, we'll get a free t shirt. Post time for the race starts at 105. All right, it's going to be a beautiful day for racing out oh, there, isn't it looks it? like, you know. And that's... a beautiful weekend ahead. Uh, that's right. Let's check in with Micah now. He is in our first alert weather center with a look at that for us. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Yeah, it's a little bit chilly outside this morning, but like you guys were talking about later on today and this weekend, actually feel really nice. But we do have the slightest chance of rain. Let's get right into it. Here's the look outside 47 degrees right now in Frankfurt. In the capital city, go down toward London, Corbin area, Somerset, Waynesburg, uh, work your way off into Monticello, Williamsburg, back toward, say, Hazard. Those areas in the mid 50s, because of the cloud deck that was overhead overnight, and still some of us dealing with that. But where we have cleared out the skies, Frankfurt at 47 degrees, it's a little bit chilly there, so a light sweater may be needed for those kiddos heading out to the bus stop. 68 degrees by the afternoon, they can get rid of it. But man, is it a nice day today. Going off toward the evening hours, Heading into Rupp Arena, I don't see any problems. But southbound, I would say southern half of Kentucky, there is the slightest chance I had a shower or two. So watch out for that as you're heading out to some of those Friday night football games. And that's mainly for London, uh, Somerset. Go back toward, say, the Cumberland Parkway, How Rogers Parkway. That's the best bet. Let's talk about some events to attend. We're talking about the low to mid 70s there for the weekend. And not only that, but a mixture of sun and clouds. Can't rule out that slight chance of rain, but for the most part, we're going to stay dry. Court days, that's good news for you guys. That's now through Monday. Mount Sterling in Montgomery County, Preston and Bath County, big event, thousands of people. Should be an awesome, awesome weekend there for you guys. And heading off toward Monday, Monday right there around 81 degrees. Corn mazes, haunted houses, don't forget about that later on tonight and off into tomorrow. Oktoberfest going on in Harrodsburg. That is today, that kicks off today through your Saturday. And 72 degrees, mixture of sun and clouds. It's pretty nice. It's not all that bad. Keeneland looks great there for the weekend, too. And then the Bourbon Chase. This is a big event, too. Roughly 4,000 people running this event. And that's there in central Kentucky, right along that Kentucky Bourbon Trail. It's about a 200 mile long race. 
And like I said, 4,000 people. So going in tonight, remember, they run overnight and into tomorrow morning. Watch out for them on the roads. Uh, if you're running the race, there is a small chance of rain tonight into tomorrow morning. So keep that in mind because you'll have the 40s for overnight lows. It's going to be quite chilly running overnight and into uh, your Saturday morning. 75, though, by the afternoon on Saturday, 78 on Sunday. Guys, those two temperatures feel really nice as well above average, but look at your temperatures on Monday and Tuesday. We're talking low to mid 80s, and then it just comes crashing down. <laughs> but look, we go from 83 on Tuesday to 58 for a high on mm -hmm. Thursday. This is a huge flood. And as the, ahead. the Wizard of Oz would say, pay no attention to the temperature at the end of the uh, forecast yes. period, right? Yeah. And speaking of the Wizard of Oz, I put on Twitter, this girl has uh, never seen Wizard of Oz. My mom won't let me see it. She was traumatized <laughs> by it. She was traumatized totally and said, no. Well, you, you just have to do it. I know that. the story. I mean, yeah. on Netflix for you this week. We, I we, know. we let you out of running the bourbon chase. Now you can watch yeah. the Wizard of yeah, Oz. There you right? go. There you go. I can do it. All right. Okay, thank you. It is 610 on WKYT this morning. Morning. And each morning we bring you weather and traffic together. Let's go out to Officer Don and check on what's happening out on the roads. Good morning, Don. Hey, good morning, guys. We, we do have a problem with a stalled school bus. It's on the exit ramp from the inner loop of New Circle to Tate's Creek. It's sitting at the bottom of the ramp. The triangle's out. So there's plenty, uh, plenty of room to get past it here over to the left. But keep in mind that could be an issue for you on that ramp backing up until they can get it out of there. Uh, no wrecks working on the circle right now. The interstate, and we're getting a live look at Nicholasville and Pasadena this morning. Intersection is wide open, so no major issues through there at all. We'll keep you up to date throughout the morning. Now back oh. to the studio. Okay, thank you so much. And we have a lot more news coming up for you Friday here on WKYT this morning. Still to come, more problems in Florida while the Zika virus won't go away. New cases have been detected. We'll show you where in three minutes. And there's another major car recall to know about. Which Hondas are impacted by this one? Coming up on WKYT this morning. Kentucky mornings start here. You're watching WKYT this morning. Good morning and welcome back to WKYT this morning. The time now is 6.15 on your Friday. It is just that. I know. <laughs> Make it a little musical, right? That's right. <laughs> well, we are just 25 days left until the general election. Donald Trump is sharpening his attacks right now against Hillary Clinton and the media for allegedly conspiring to derail his presidential campaign. This says the Republican nominee continues to deny a series of sexual assault allegations against him. Hannah Daniels has the latest on campaign 2016. Donald Trump spent Thursday on the defensive amid a slew of sexual assault allegations leveled against him by several women this week. He took particular aim at one of them, a writer for People magazine who says the Republican nominee forcibly kissed her during an interview at his Florida estate in 2005. You take a look, look at her, look at her words, you tell me what you think. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yesterday, Melania Trump demanded people retract an episode from the article, claiming the writer had a conversation with her outside Trump Tower following the incident. These attacks are orchestrated by the Clintons and their media allies. The only thing Hillary Clinton has going for herself is the press. As running mate Mike Pence came to Trump's defense. I can say with certainty that Donald Trump has denied that any of those actions that have been alleged have ever occurred, uh, and I believe him. This is disgraceful. It is intolerable. First Lady Michelle Obama issued her most searing attack yet of the Republican nominee. It doesn't matter what party you belong to. No woman deserves to be treated this way. None of us deserves this kind of abuse. Clinton's campaign continued to be dogged by hacking yesterday, as WikiLeaks published more emails that links to her campaign. Some of the exchanges revealed tension between top aides and issues over how to deal with Clinton's email scandal. Hannah Daniels, CBS News. And the Clinton campaign is yet to authenticate the leaked emails, even saying some might be outright fakes. Clinton is off of the campaign trail again today, holding a fundraiser in Seattle, and Trump is holding two events in North Carolina. The two candidates face off in their third and final debate next week. Less than a month after declaring victory over the Zika virus in the Miami neighborhood, five new cases have been detected. All of them are in a one square mile area just north of the Little Haiti neighborhood. The first neighborhood, Wynwood, was cleared with aggressive mosquito spraying. The CDC says pregnant women should avoid traveling to the new outbreak area. 
Stevie Wonder, Shaka Khan had the crowd partying like it was 1999 all over again at a tribute concert to the late megastar Prince. Friends and former bandmates of Prince celebrated the superstar last night in St. Paul. Prince died of an accidental painkiller overdose in April. President Obama also delivered a taped message to the concert goers. Singers Christina Aguilera and Anita Baker canceled scheduled performances before the event. Prince gave us some memorable music, no doubt about that. Our time this morning is coming up on 619 on WKYT. Just a day after Toyota announced a major recall, Honda is doing the same this morning. The company is recalling 350,000 Civics because of an electronic parking brake glitch. Honda says no accidents or injuries have been reported. Toyota is recalling some Prius cars for a similar issue. Expect your heating bill to go up this winter. That's according to the Energy Department. Which says fuel bills from now through March are likely to be higher for electricity, natural gas, heating oil, and propane. And government meteorologists are predicting a colder winter than last year. Samsung is estimating the total cost to recall its Galaxy Note 7 phones and replacements will climb to more than $5 billion. The company is so concerned about the phones potentially catching fire, it is giving $100 in credit to customers as an incentive to turn in their phones. And uh, we had uh, the issue this morning of uh, the fact that the airlines are now uh, taking some action, actually mm -hmm. putting some equipment on board planes uh, to deal with this if it comes up. And of course, many of those problems started right here in the bluegrass. Well, WKYT this morning, we are just getting started. Still to come on your Friday, court testimony reveals Kentucky State Police lost a piece of evidence in a high profile murder case. What this could mean for the accused killer coming up at 6.30. On the cool side of things early this morning, but once we hit the afternoon, it actually feels quite nice. And this weekend is much warmer, maybe even some 80s in the forecast. I'm going to show you that with the rain chances coming up next. Welcome back. It is 623 on your Friday. Thanks for being with us on WKYT this morning. Today, the Kentucky Supreme Court will hear arguments in a Lexington panhandling case. Very closely watched case. That's what's trending at this hour at WKYT News. Dennis Champion claims a city ordinance which bans panhandling on public streets violates his constitutional right to free speech. The city claims the ordinance is a matter of public safety. The state's highest court will decide. UK fans waking up with smiles on their faces. Is today and excitement is in the air. Big Blue Madness is tonight at Rupp Arena. The kickoff to the new season will be televised on the SEC Network starting at 7 o'clock tonight. Exciting and times. Yeah, and while the event is inside, the weather's going to be great as you're walking in there. Here's Micah Harris. That's where really? zipped in place. <laughs> I was a little late getting over to the gray uh, wall. The I got my socks on, so I slide on this wall, no problem. <laughs> Defender Radar Network, there is the rain back toward Arkansas and Missouri. Now, it's heading our direction, and it looks like a pretty good mass of rain. But let me tell you this, it will start to fall apart as it gets a little bit closer to us because the actual energy is still well back toward the west. So the farther that gets away from it, the better likelihood of it falling apart. That's not good news. It's, it's good and bad news. It's bad timing because it's Friday heading off to your weekend. You don't want any rain, but you still want some rain around town. It's 47 degrees right now in Frankfurt. It's a little bit chilly out there, central and northern zones. That goes for Lexington. And so the school forecast, if you're trying to get the kids out today, I don't see any problems. Maybe you weren't able to yesterday. It was a little too chilly. Or you had uh, that drizzle falling. It just wasn't nice outside. It'll be pretty nice today. It'll be on the cool side, though, before noon, right around 58 degrees. So, teachers, there you go. There's your forecast for you guys. 63 there by 1 p.m. We're going to talk about your afternoon forecast off into the evening for those football games. Keeneland this weekend. A lot of events going on. I'll have that coming up. Okay, 625 now on WKYT. And as they say, everything is bigger in Texas, including the alligators. Right, check <laughs> out this monster. Wow, the 900-pound animal was caught by some park employees. And they were called after reports of a 13-foot gator showed up at a boat ramp there. The park chose to release the animal instead of killing it. And now they're asking the public to help name it. <laughs> big boy. It's, it's a big one. That's, that's right. That's what I Big boy. <laughs> big old Texas Yikes. big alligator. <laughs> <laughs> well, a new veggie well, burger is so good it is actually tricking people into thinking it's actually meat. They but think it's, it's not. Uh, right. It's called the Impossible Burger. It is a plant-based patty, but it's designed to look, smell, and even taste like real meat. 
That's all due in part to a special ingredient, which is called heme. It mimics things found in meat. The project took five years, $190 million to make. One restaurant sold out of the burger in just 30 minutes. How interesting. You think you'd know the difference? I don't know. Well, <laughs> apparently not. I heard they made a beet burger that kind of bleeds a little bit like, oh. a, like a burger. Yeah. So I don't know. Just I don't use know. beets for that? Yeah. I'll, I'll stay with the meat. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see uh, what the future holds on yeah. that. Yeah. When WKYT returns this morning, airlines worried about cell phones catching fire during flight are taking extra steps to prevent a disaster. What they're doing coming up at 6.30. You'll recall a Kentucky connection to that as well. All of our top stories are on the way, and tonight's Mega Millions jackpot is $15 million. Saturday night's Powerball jackpot is $122 million. Thanks for waking up the Kentucky way on WKYT.